Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is video number 34, I guess. In this video, I'm going to show you how to package the application for multiple users and how to split the application into front end and back end. So if you're interested in watching, then stick around and let's get started. As you've seen at the start of this video of what we are going to do. So let's get started. But before I do that, let me ask you a couple of things, right? Number one, of course, I'm going to ask you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. And secondly, have you watched a previous video than this? If you haven't, you should, because I have explained the basic concept of uh, packaging the application and the purposes of doing whatever we do when we do the package packaging of application. So you should watch its video number 32, I guess. This is video number 33. So I'm going to continue with this. With this particular application, with this particular video, what we are going to do is we are going to split this database or this application into two files. One file essentially becomes a backend database and the other file becomes the front end which user will use so the idea is that if you have a business for example and uh, that business needs to use this application and that business has multiple people but they want to use only one application for everything that they do so to have a distributed work and to have shared work which is shared by everyone with each other it is important that you split this application and when you split you actually have to define where the database will reside so in this situation generally it has to be on a server or on a share folder which is on your network uh, that you might be working on so there has to be some sort of shared space shared folder where you can store this backend database and then you can distribute the front end either through the same server or through the email or usb or by any means right so that's that's what we are going to do and i'm going to demonstrate in this video to you but it's very important that you understand this concept number two i wanted to mention that some people think that the cloud services like onedrive and gmail and um, the other drop dropbox i don't know is that the name I don't know anyway so some people think that they are also cloud uh, platforms so let's have the backend stored on these platforms and front end is shared with everyone on the team the problem is that these platforms although they are cloud platforms like onedrive gmail and the other platforms that are available they are essentially cloud based but the problem is that they are not designed for this kind of work so if you keep the backend on those platforms and then if you distribute the front end and user starts using that application and if there are three users and they have done three changes that means there will be three files that will be created uh, because of those changes that has happened in the database so that's not really a good way of, uh, of of sharing the information so that's why it's important that you have a server either it is on cloud so or it is a local network uh, share folder in any case you create that folder and you put the backend over there for example i have this folder created although it is not on server or shared folder i've just given the name of this folder as a server so if i go and double click in server folder we will have two subfolders one is for backend the other one is for front end now in the backend this is where the database should reside this is where when we split the database the backend should reside and the front on front end of the database should reside in this folder just to repeat again the backend consists of the tables that's the database the front end in microsoft access consists of forms queries and reports okay so that's the purpose of splitting Okay, and this is gener generic practice closed. Now, what next we will do? We will open this access file again. Now, if I open it again, like by double clicking, it will straight go to the uh, login screen and then to the dashboard. So I will not be able to see the developer view in that case. So what you have to do is keep pressing the shift on your keyboard of your computer and then double click, then double click and keep pressing the shift until the application opens okay now you can see that it's a developer view but we don't see any object which means tables forms or query for that 
if and that's why I said if you haven't watched the previous video you should because we have done some settings we turn off a couple of things and we will go in the settings and we will turn them on again so we'll go to the file we'll go to the option and we'll go to the current database and then in here we'll say display form uh, I don't want to see login form as the standard or standalone form then uh, we turned on a couple of options here so we'll uh, enable the layout view we'll enable the design view we'll enable the display navigation pane we'll uh, click on navigation option object type and we will select all these objects and then we will enable full menus and shortcut menus that's it that's what we turned off and we have turned on again because we have to do some work and split the data so i'll click ok and it gives a message it will take effect so here we are we have the objects in front of us now what we need to do we have to split this application now to split Microsoft Access has given us the facility or the option to split the database now I'll go to the ribbon and I'll go to database tools and I will choose under the move data section I'll click on the access database the moment I hover my mouse you see what's written there split a database into two files one containing the tables and one containing the queries and forms so that's that's the that's what this button do so I click on this access uh, split a uh, database split and then I get this pop-up so there's a description about what this particular um, what this particular uh, pop-up or wizard will do okay um, so it's important that uh, we split this information so this information is also very important so please go through it I'm not going to go through on the video but you can read through it okay so I click on split database and then it will ask me hey okay so I'm going to split this application where do you want me to store this database the tables so we have to give that uh, kind of pathway where this information should be stored so I go to the split database and click on that I clicked on split a database then I care I got this um, file explorer where you can see uh, the similar server that I was looking for so we double click on the server we double click on the back end this is where we want our back end file to reside or the or the back end file to to be there basically and that's why you know the Microsoft access will automatically determine this, that this is this file which is going to be stored here will be considered as backend and therefore BE is the initial of the backend okay so we'll keep the naming convention like that and we will click on split Okay, the moment we click on split now access will start working and will let us know when the data will be split is done successfully so we click click ok and now you see these little blue color arrows on uh, for each table what these arrows means these arrows means that it's a confirmation to you basically that the database split is done and this database is stored wherever you ask Microsoft access to store so we'll go to the backend server we'll go to the backend and here we go this is the backend database if I double click on that and of course we have to enable the content and you can see that this is the backend file this is on the server or the shared folder which is on your local host and you can see that all these tables that we have created now if I go back here you see this uh, little arrows as I said this is a confirmation it is telling you that these tables are not a local table they are linked to another database which is located somewhere else on the server but the front end remains with queries and forms and the reports okay so that's how you do the splitting of the database now for example let's um, do some change here and let's see if this change reflected in the backend okay I'm already in backend so I should be here okay so let's say you know I go to the flow T table this is kind of uh, we'll, we will add on add in the rending random information or we can change any information here this should be changed in the backend database as well so if I double click on flow T let's say I add a new record okay if this is the main file this file is going to be with the users remember the file with the these arrows okay on the tables this file is going to be for the users as a front end but the other one which is only tables this is going to be stored on the server and user should not have access to the back end user should have access to the front end the file that has tables with the arrow symbol with them okay so that's what we are going to do uh, now that we are going to see that if I if I add a record here this record should be updated 
here as well because that's the idea right so let's add a record let's add today's date or tomorrow's date let's say it is earning plus just to differentiate for employee number six do we have yeah and it is um, something okay now i'm doing the entry data entry into the application which is with the user so at the moment i'm using the application which is with the users so whatever we have added here this should be updated in the backend file as well so let's now go to the backend file so i'm going to shift now to backend file which is located on the server and we will see if this information is updated so of course i have to close this because it's a new record so for that i have to close this and reopen this uh, table again and you can see that whatever information we have added in this file again with arrows this is front end right this is where i've added and it is reflected in this particular file which is uh, considered as a backend so this is how you uh, use the backend and you split the application into backend and frontend and you 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 give this frontend file to different users so they can use this application now in the server if we will go back the backend file remain wherever it is but the frontend file this file will become frontend so you can copy this file and paste in here in the front end and you can ask users to go in this server on the server in this shared folder and in the front end copy that onto their computers and start using the application so that's how you do the splitting and this is the concept of splitting of the back end and the front end i hope that you have learned something again i would emphasize on this point that do not store your back end onto the cloud platform such as onedrive or google drive or other drives they are cloud but they are not built for this kind of purpose so if you want to have cloud backend that means you take this backend and put it on the azure cloud or google cloud cloud or amazon cloud so they all have cloud services and other services are there as well so that's it in this video i hope that you have learned something even if you have not please do let me know in the comments below and um, subscribe to the channel if you have not and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload any video well that's it for today thank you very much and i will see you in the next one